Hey, hey, welcome or welcome back. I'm happy to see you here. I hope your week is going well and you are doing well. It's been a little rainy here and a little stormy, but um, take a bit of a break to check out the latest Amberlynn Reed video. I've been incredibly busy this week. Um, my freelance contract is ending as soon as I finish what I'm working on. So I'm trying to hurry up and finish that. So I'm currently behind on the Telenim videos and of course my own videos for things that I'm doing um, because I just don't have the time to put it together and edit them. These reaction videos take me less time to edit if I don't add anything extra to the videos, um, like little extra clips and things typically. <sighs> Hopefully um, in a week maybe or so I should have more more time to finish you know the other videos and edit do those things I'm also a little chilly so I got my got my hoodie all zipped up here um, but Amber Lynn uh, has a new video up just a couple hours ago I think titled girlfriend rates my new outfit and outpatient update so I am really looking forward to this outpatient update I really want to hear how it's going how she's doing how her progress is coming along with this binge eating recovery. I hope it's, I hope it's going well. Fingers crossed. So, let's uh, let's go ahead and hop into it here. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. I have is it more breakfast? Coffee moment. I notice coffee is such an appetite suppressant. I don't know. Appetite. Yeah. If it's just like the major caffeine in it or what, it definitely helps me mm -hmm. stay on track. Oh my God, I'm just feeling so sluggish and fatigued today. I have like zero energy and I hope I snap out of it soon, which I'm sure I will because I go through phases throughout the day. Where you know, I don't know what day this is. Um, I'm not sure if it's after she's been like having headaches and wasn't feeling well. That could be why she's feeling a little sluggish. Uh, don't know how she's been sleeping. Um, since it's been made apparent that she does pre-record some things, this could be from a week ago. Where I'm just like, energy, no energy, energy, no energy. So kind of embrace those as they come. I'm wearing Betsy Johnson earrings. I've had these for so long. And I think this is like the first time I've worn them. So. Is that like a leopard oh, print? Oh, Twinkie, taking the Twinkster for a walk. Oh, okay, such guys, a cute puppers. I have a massive bag of Torrid, but I figured instead of doing it all in one video, I'm gonna take a piece of clothing, I'm gonna throw it in the vlog, I'm gonna like show you guys how it looks on me and such. Um, you know, because I don't want to do it all in one video. I think it would just be fun. So yeah, let's do it. So is this a way to milk it for content? Just do a piece of clothing in each video so that you'll have a full body shot in each video to clickbait with? Okay, first thing first. <clears throat> this is a size six t-shirt. Oh, a t-shirt. I wear like t-shirts lately a little bit more. Um, this is really pretty olive green color. The sleeves. <laughs> what, babe? You like it? I know, I love the color. The sleeves have mm, like, has a little split neck thing. Stripe moment. So now. Why is everything a moment or a situation type deal? I, I've, I've started to hate those words. I'm going to try it on. Okay, so here it is on. <laughs> that was actually a decent transition for once from her. And I'm actually shocked. It fits pretty well. It doesn't look bad. I'll show you guys. Okay, we're getting boob shots like, again. I'm not used to t-shirts fitting me as well, but... I mean, with a little bit of weight loss, like these three pounds, inside joke. Um, yeah, like, it fits. I love the color. I love 
I don't know why she does inside jokes with her girlfriend on the video because it's not an inside joke with her audience. So like, we don't get it. I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't think the shirt looks bad on her. I mean, you know, she's a big girl. I mean, when you're big, I totally understand. It's hard to find clothes that fit. But I think this actually looks looks fine on her. Um, it seems to fit decently. I mean, and of course, when you're bigger and you have a big butt, things are going to land kind of weird on the backside. I I have problems with that. Um, but I I think the shirt looks 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 fine. Love how it fits. Sorry the couch is a mess. Rarity. That's all the stuff that we got from Oh, box. bless you, Rarity. Yeah, we still have not put away. Oh, we have bloopers. Take it, babe. Babe, give a like. Never. Doesn't matter. Babe, babe, babe. He was eight years old. Oh, um, no. Uh, he didn't want to like this. Oh, thanks, babe. So I think I want to rate each outfit or each, uh, it's not really an outfit, like dress or shirt that I get. I'm going to do it out of five. And I literally give this probably a four or a 4.5 out of five. And it my girlfriend also her. said a 4.5. My girlfriend's rating my outfits. Clickbait. <laughs> okay, you guys, make lunch with me. All right, First what are we having? We need I have that bread. Is necessarily flatbread or a wrap of your choice. You are also going to need cream It's a lot of beverages. Some lunch meat of your choice. Mine is rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. You're gonna need some scallion. And making a wrap. Some ranch seasoning. Okay, All so right. I'm gonna make it known that I actually saw my friend do this recipe on TikTok. I am switching it up a little bit, but I wanted to try it. It's a weird it glass good. to be using. So I have this. I'm doing it in a clear cup so you guys can see it. Um, oh. On my scale. So, I so this is probably like a roll-up type thing. My sister makes these sometimes for like um, like holiday type things. Um, yeah, it's like a turkey and cheese or something like um, cream cheese roll-up and... When my sister makes them, they're actually really good. I don't know if it's the same thing here, but yeah, you have some green onions, some cream cheese, and you can use lunch meat like this, you know, put it out and spread out the cream cheese, and then you roll roll up the, like the tortilla or the wrap, and then you cut it, and that's like a cream cheese, turkey, whatever, roll up. You can add like some different seasonings, like if you wanted to make it like a, like more of a, I don't know, like pizza type one. You could put like some pepperoni in it and maybe add some kind of seasoning or flavor to the cream cheese and spread it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what she's making here. I could put a serving down of the cream cheese, which is 31 grams. But why is she using this weird okay, glass so instead of like a bowl? 31 grams. Okay, that's 28. So. Oh, honey, that's just... Now, I'm going to add some of this ranch seasoning. Why don't you measure it? Why are you using a weird glass? Why don't you use a bowl? Now, you're going to cut some scallion. So, my friend put parsley, but in replace of parsley... I am putting an onion flavor because I personally love it. So I'm just chopping these pieces super, super small. Okay, so we're going to add that to this mixture. Are you though? You have a whole bunch up on the side of the glass. Why are you using a drinking glass? So you also have the option to cook some bacon and crumple it up in this mixture. Yeah, you can use bacon, you can use- But, if we're being quite frank here, I forgot. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna Okay, I'm gonna smear it. I hate that word. Shmear. Yeah, we know. Smear. So gross. Like you mean the word moist, like you don't like, like the word moist. Then just put your desired meat on the wrap, obviously. And then you're gonna roll it up, which I'm usually kind of bad at this, but we'll see. Yeah, it's like a cream cheese roll up. My sister w would make these for like family get togethers wow. and things. I did not do too bad. And now you're just gonna cut them into pinwheels. <laughs> yep. I love me a pinwheel and I've never made, made one. Yeah, this is that. exactly the same thing that my so sister makes ways. sometimes. It's, um, I just they're actually to try something really good. See what I thought. And then there you go. You have your cute little. There's not very much cream cheese in there, but is... if you cute. if you use like like a lower calorie cream cheese or something, you could put a little bit more in there to make it a little more substantial because it doesn't doesn't even look like there's anything inside these with just that little bit of with that one serving of cream cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna go eat this. Wait, you know what? We should do a taste test. Yeah. Mm hmm Is it so good? That's 10 out of 10. Oh, 10 out of hey 10. Guys. She's changing okay. it up. So I promised in my last... But we did get the uh-huh, mm-hmm. ...last vlog that I would talk about outpatient... And yes, an let's get that, that update, I girl. Totally forgot. Slipped my mind. So we're gonna do it in this video. So I know that my decisions and the way that I live my life reflects on the way that you guys treat me. <laughs> it is something I have very much noticed. So I'm expecting a lot of backlash, a lot of hate, a lot of people being disappointed in me. And I think that's the reason why I didn't want to share this right off the bat because I'm kind of just like enjoying my life right now. Oh kind God, like she quit, didn't she? Positive and just like motivated and inspired to live my life. So I have officially taken a pause on outpatient. I noticed that they did not want me to talk about weight loss. That was not, they, oh God. Oh my God. I am... Um... I'm a little angry with her, but I'm more disappointed because she's not understanding the reasoning as to why they don't want her to focus on weight loss just yet. I've, I've said this many, many times before whenever she's mentioned these things. They have to get to the root of why she binges and help her find ways to cope with it, to stop the binges, to find something healthier to binge on. Because binges may still happen. If any of you watch Beatrice Caruso, she has binge eating issues. But she took a break from weight loss for like four or five months, six months, something, I don't know, to work with a therapist to try to understand why she binges and to find ways to stop the binge or ways to make the binge not as bad if they do happen. And if one slips through, it's okay. She knows what to do in the future. But Amber Lynn is not understanding that until she figures out what's making her binge, she's not gonna lose weight. And it just, it frustrates me so much because why is she all of the sudden now so focused on, I have to lose weight, I have to lose weight. I'm so disappointed in her. Um... The program that I was doing, they're very much 
health at every size, which I completely disagree with. I don't believe in that at all. I do believe beauty at every size, so don't get me wrong. But I don't believe in health at every size at all. I have a hard time believing that. I really do. I have a hard time believing that an eating disorder program would be health at every size motivated. I mean, I guess I could see it as somewhat, but I don't know. I just have a hard time believing that. And so it made it to where it was hard for me to talk about my weight, hard for me to talk about my weight loss. Because it's not a weight loss program. Because of it and me wanting to just save my life. I felt guilty talking about those things almost. It's not a weight loss program. It's an eating disorder program. Because if they try to help you focus on losing weight, they could introduce another eating disorder. Like I wasn't supposed to. It was like I was walking on eggshells. So currently in my life, I am actively losing weight, trying to lose weight. There will be a way in. So don't worry, you guys. Do not have to worry about that. I'm actually... I'm sorry to pause her again. She wants a quick fix. She wanted to be able to walk in, do this program, and have all her problems fixed in a week. And be like, here's how you lose weight. You need to join a weight loss program if you wanted to lose weight. But whenever you visited weight loss doctors, you wouldn't listen to them. You thought you knew better. And now you think you know better than the eating disorder program people. Oh. I'm actually very proud of myself. I'm feeling amazing. I had multiple, like several appointments with the program. So I've had easily over 10 hours. Okay, multiple, or, oh, 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 wait, wait. How long? Hours of outpatient program. 10 hours of outpatient, well, she's, an, she's a certified expert then. She's had 10 hours of outpatient pro. Does she listen to herself? Oh my God, I am just so, mmm. And I know that those 10 hours honestly did change a big part of my brain. No, I don't um, think it did. And I'll like not do outpatient forever. I don't no, think it did. Yeah, we'll go back. But I'm taking what I did learn already to using that. And I'm also using what I already knew. It turns out I knew more than I freaking thought. Like, Oh, of course she did. It's fucking Dr. Lynn here. Of course she already knew. So, oh. My psychologist was like, you're smarter than you think. And I was like, Ooh, I feel like I'm dumb. Literally, I feel like I'm an idiot. But okay, thank you. As for therapy, I love it. So I'm actually going to see if I can keep my psychologist as a therapist and not as someone who is like telling me not to count calories. I really want my psychologist to, or my future therapist to support me. The one you're working with in this program probably can't. Unless she has an outside practice. Ugh. And my decision of weight loss, because this is for my health, it's for my future, and it's very important. That's that's ultimately what needs to happen here. Let's be real. My life is paused while I am this size, and I want to press play. <laughs> so we can talk more about this down the line, give you more updates on if I keep the psychologist, you know, whatever it may be. I'm not trying to like keep any of this hidden. It's just like, sometimes I need to process things before I can actually speak about them out loud. So I hope that you guys understand that. And I think as long as I am making progress mentally and physically. I don't think she's making progress mentally. I really don't. And I think the physical progress, I hate to say it, I think it's only temporary. I mean, we're seeing from the grocery hauls, they are getting healthier food, but I, I think having wifey there doing most of the cooking will help hold her accountable, 
but we've seen this before with Amber Lynn as part of the cycle. She'll do great for a month, two months, three months, maybe at most. And then she goes off the rails and gains it all back, or at least half of it. In all the health ways and like the mental health and whatever it may be, that is the, the track that I'm wanting to be on, 100%. And I also would like to say that I have not binged in, oh my gosh, it's been almost a week and it honestly feels amazing. Um, You know, that's great. It's great that you haven't binged in almost a week. But do you know why you binged? Was it because you were restricting yourself? Was it because you were upset? Was it emotions? What made you binge? Um, I noticed that doing the outpatient, it actually triggered me to binge because I was talking so much about, like, trauma. It was just like, trauma, 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 trauma. Well, then, there you go. That's what causes you to binge. You have to work through it. Oh. Oh. And I'm just like, okay, let's slow down for a second. (laughs) Okay, anyways, I'm actually going to end this vlog. I don't want to ramble too much. Um, I hope that you guys just accept my decision, like, as a person and know that I am making progress and you guys will see that progress, I promise. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. You know, it's her decision. It's her life. But this is why people get frustrated with her because she's back into the cycle. I, I can't say that I'm surprised. I think we all knew it was coming. Just didn't expect it to be like she had, she said she had several sessions. She had 10 hours. Whoa. That's maybe a couple of weeks. A few weeks. If she was going two or three times a week, you know, she, oh, I'm just I'm so disappointed. I'm so frustrated. It's, I was really hoping she would stick with it and get to the root of her issues and do better. You know, I'm glad that she's losing weight right now. That's great. But we saw this happen at the end of last year. Whenever, after her and Becky broke up, she lost like 20, 30 pounds, gained back half of it. And then like before she gained a bunch back at Christmas and Thanksgiving, She was down from, what, like 560 to like 480. And then she got back up to like 515. It's... I don't know. I mean, I shouldn't be yelling at her with my fat ass sitting here, you know, not losing weight at the moment, but still, I'm not 500 fucking pounds. I may feel like it some days, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. And I guess we'll see how she does. And until next time, be safe and take care.